Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer and this is the UK Northern Powerhouse on Transport Fever 2. This is going to be episode number 32 in the series and in this episode we're going to start to work towards getting Doncaster built. Uh, in the last episode we built the line out from Leeds and Wakefield down towards Doncaster. We're currently on board this Northern service to Sheffield calling at uh, Barnsley I think. As I discovered, it was you know a northern service, so I've, I've put that on, and I have been sent a couple of maps on my Discord as well for these coast services and some of the cross-country services, just to get those in and ready once all the uh, well once Doncaster's ready, really, because it is kind of important location for services. Someone mentioned in the comments in the last episode that you, it's best to think of it as like a crew for the east, I guess, and looking at the open rail map it really is it's very similar to crew in, in how it looks so the yeah, the first thing I need to do is where are we we're at Doncaster there is Doncaster what I want to do is pause the game right and then where are my services There's one there the miles away anyway so we don't have to worry too much now what I do actually obviously we're going to rebuild Doncaster but I want to slightly change the track layout as well as it approaches from the south or heading south whichever way you look at it and from the north as well because it does comes into Doncaster from the north and the East Coast Mainline I'm talking about and then it sort of bends over t heads over towards the uh, towards the east before heading into to Retford and you can see there the alignment I've got it's kicking out a bit so if I move the station over, put a bus in, maybe give Doncaster a bit of room to grow over here uh, put the station in that sort of angle which it is looks-ish that it's in a sort of north north easterly sort of angle and then it can come into uh, to Retford so yeah that's what we need to do so we're going to get rid of all this road as well and what the first thing I want to do, I'm not sure if I'm going to get Doncaster finished in this episode actually but I want to see if how you know I want to see how much I can actually get done but the first thing I want to do is just get all the tracks in place uh, so I know which tracks need to go where I just want to smooth that off a little bit so I'm not actually going to put the station in just yet uh, so we want some high-speed tracks with electrification and then this is the track that's coming from Leeds Wakefield direction and that kind of joins up with the main East Coast main line to form a four track approach into uh, into Doncaster itself but I think you know, I'm just gonna have to I'm just that's coming in a little bit too close to actual Doncaster itself I need to uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put the station in first because that really helps define the tracks and everything so it's going to be 240 meters long doesn't really matter about how it looks at the minute we're just going to put it on a little bit of an angle like that and put it outside of Doncaster maybe put it a bit further south and it's been adopted anyway so once we put the routes back in that shouldn't be a problem and then I think this track here the most tracks that's the one <laughs> that's going to link up to that leads track there now 150 I don't think that's no 109 we do want to maintain the speed for as long as possible so 151 that's yeah that's more than fast enough but we don't we don't really want to be slowing down until we're actually approaching and now we're now we're slowing down too much right so let's start to curve it in I want to get these tracks right first time basically so we can start to slow down where's the station it's over there uh, something 100 yeah that's not too bad and then into Doncaster for now that's just so I can get the actual alignments correct so then the Leeds branch is coming down to here and then the main East Coast main line can just do that straight into there like that so that's fine and then that one up towards there get this bridge in hopefully it doesn't look, I don't think that's high enough oh it is that's all right uh, something concrete I guess like that don't really oh we do need to worry about that um, right so you stay flat I mean this really isn't crucial to getting Doncaster station in but this there's like a secondary spur 
which comes off and needs to go uphill a little bit. Can it go uphill a little bit more without being ridiculous? Yeah, something like that. I don't. That goes off somewhere. So I'll put that in anyway, just just so we've got it in place. I want you to put the bridge in as well. Or will we? Oh yes, that's fine, right? And again, we'll just go with something concrete. I don't. It doesn't really matter too much as long as the pillar's not clipping into the track. That's fine. That's all fine. That looks a bit. No, that's fine. Actually, we'll leave that as it is. So that comes down to there like that, and then there's another track which comes off to meet this one so if you put this in like so this is going off towards somewhere and then it come right so actually let's just take a quick look yeah because one one it forks off one goes towards Ghoul and then another one towards Barnet B which we have on the map so let's get those let's if we're gonna get it all in place then we want it to uh, we want it to look right. So we're at Doncaster. There's Barnaby. I'm facing the wrong way. Barnaby Scunthorpe, and then off to Gaul. So this actually, we do actually need to change this track quite radically because it's going too far south. Right. So I've deleted some of the track, and now we just want to get this over towards Scunthorpe and Barnaby. Um, let's just take a look at that. Make sure it doesn't look awful, which it does. Yeah, you really do have to zoom in sometimes just to double check. And then where's there it is, get that node to there, and then we'll just chuck this over the East Coast main line. Maybe not in one foul swoop swoop. Alright, get that into there. Just check where Scunthorpe is. So this track wants to be heading or pointing towards Scunthorpe like that. And then hopefully it should be nice and straightforward if we go over. No, maybe not. It needs to come up a little touch, I think. Just to the point where it's starting to make a bridge, and then we'll put that as a embankment, and then a bridge over the east coast. Oh come on! Why, why are you making this so difficult? That was clearly bridge, but actually saying that the east coast is on a bit of a bit of a ridge there. So um, right, let's do this again. I didn't think I'd be spending so much time on this. So this wants to be something like that, I think keep it on an embankment and hopefully we're just high enough to clear the East Coast Main Line which we are which is fine so bring that down to about there replace the bridge and then put that in place it, do, it does pay off to just take your time get all the track the all the tracks leading into Doncaster right from the get-go really it uh, saves I'm not don't think that's this line is actually electrified but not to worry at the minute I just want to get this in and then we've got a good starting point from which to actually build Doncaster and all of the links leading into it. Right, so get that in there. Yeah, let's extend this out. No, not like that. Extend that out like that embankment. Now I'll just put the bridge in and then I'll leave that going off in that direction and then pick it up later on because it's not really fundamental. I just want to get it in and get it pointing in the right sort of direction. That is really what I don't know why that's so wonky. Come on, just it's just a simple bridge. Come on. It didn't didn't feel like it was snapping to be uh, to be straight. Right, so just bring that down. It still looks wonky to me. Now I'll, I'll leave it right, and then this bit. What does this bit do? Right. I've put my map over put my map over Scunthorpe, so um, let's come back. So that joins up with that, right? So that's that's what I was trying to get at anyway. Is basically this track here heads off in the direction of Scunthorpe. So we'll put that down. Doesn't want to be on a viaduct, we can bring it down to the ground level now. Like so, and then this actually wants to point start to head towards Gould, so I think we need to actually bring this back, don't we? Because it doesn't take like a dramatic turn off towards Gaul, it just takes a little starts to head off in that sort of direction, like something like that, maybe. And then there's a junction coming off here, which leads down to Doncaster. So we want to bring it in from. No, we don't want to. We don't want to double back on ourselves. So we want to go that way. Thank you. Seventy will 
do. I think uh, this looks a bit rubbish, so we'll bring that up a little bit and then find that just to bring that's it to snap to and then just put that into there like that. Okie dokie, so we've got this bit of junction in now. We can run this off towards Doncaster. Let's yeah, just bring it straight down. It doesn't really doesn't need to be complicated, does it? But I think that's just I think no, we'll put the junction in from this side because it is the terrain looks a bit higher and I think we will just go with a sixth section of track or six track lead into and then I can start well once we've got all this I can start zooming into Doncaster and seeing what the actual approach looks like so I don't think any of this is electrified uh, so what I will actually do is just get rid of all this, uh, get rid of all of this electrification on this particular section of track get rid of that to there but this section does actually want to be electrified um, we're going to have to, can we just electrify that little tiny bit, what does that look like? yeah that's 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 fine, I don't, I don't think any of this will be electrified although not 100% but yeah so what we're doing now, we're going off so we want a track that goes off towards Scunthorpe eh, like that, I think 100 miles per hour is probably more than quick enough, I, I'm guessing we're, we're on this section whatever service operates is either going to be a 158 or a 170 so and then just junction in like that eats let's let's try for something a little bit faster because actually there is going to be a service isn't it up towards like a mainline service is that a goal possibly uh, so get that in there up to there like that so I will leave those there for now at least we're getting in the right sort of direction but then coming off this there is then a bypass which kind of goes all the way around Doncaster so uh, put that in this is um, right yeah, get that down maybe a little bit faster down nice and even like that I'm not going to put the bypass in at this stage. I'm just going to. I'm just putting all the, basically the junctions in where we need them. A uh, bit of smoothing for now. So that's in there. That junction goes off there. There's a lot. There is a huge amount going on around Doncaster. So that bypass bypasses Doncaster, comes round, and then we do have. So if we have that track there, it wants to be a reasonable speed. I think 100 leading into the station like that and then if we bring this down a little bit more I think just to bring it all back up let's see if we can just bring it straight in I think 90, no, 98 that's that's rubbish we can do better than that I'm pretty sure so no, that's maybe just back a little bit that's better already isn't it something like that 140 more than fast enough and then that's just unnecessarily kinked out there just want it nice and straight like that so we are getting there now coming just now this is a weird junction this there's like another one um, right so there is another bypass that bypasses Doncaster which links up I think we will actually have to build this so just after Doncaster there is like a really tight turn coming out no yeah really yeah there's a really tight <laughs> there's a really tight turn coming out Doncaster something like that just bring this two track section back up to the station and then we'll just have that come straight out straight out straight out like that good good possibly and then this junction is going to be got the really quite tightly spaced together. So basically, we need a junction that just yeah it needs to be needs to be about here. So look, I think we're going to build a junction or the bridge, the junction, the bridge rather straight away. That's clipping into the track a little bit. Is that 
can bring that down level and then something we want bridge bridge any any bridge that's clipping in so we'll have the bridge without I know that that span is a bit a bit ridiculous but hopefully we can uh, make it look a little bit better and then this wants to come down yeah we're not going to be able to how high is that I think that is that is as low as you're physically going to get for a bridge actually and then this wants to come down as a collision come up as quickly as you can no right so we're gonna to have to do this is actually going to be quite tricky right just get that onto there why does that look so weird and that looks a bit it is quite steep but I think that's as much as we're going to get away with right so bring bring it down first and then put the actual switch in and is that sitting no it's not sitting low that's fine again I'm not entirely sure if this looking at the service diagram that I have currently if this was actually would actually get used all that much this spur but it is there so we are going to re recreate it as closely as possible so right come up to about there something like that just no, don't wiggle and then no maybe not then a little bit higher let's try that again so coming up to the point where it starts to make a bridge which is there on an embankment and then a bridge without pillars because I don't want any pillars clipping into uh, into the East Coast main line and then try and get this across right so from here and then across this line here looking good so far that's not actually too bad and then this needs to come down as quickly as possible like that there's a bit of a bit of a curve on it but it's not too bad and then just chuck that into there like that that's, actually that's not a not a bad great separated junction it's quite compact and then just a bit of smoothing I'll come in later and do some other things with that and then this comes round I will actually build this track now and it meets up with this track which heads off towards towards Rotherham Rotherham so we'll just have a little bit of a little bit of track there Doncaster does seem unnecessarily complicated but there must be a reason for all of these different junctions and bypasses and things I'm guessing I mean, the bypasses probably might be used for freight rather than passenger service because I can't see the, the uh, the benefit of bypassing Doncaster station but it's in there anyway so uh, yeah you can you can see it is really quite a complicated arrangement of things going on so that links up with that and then actually coming out of the south of Doncaster is relatively straightforward this goes round and then just oh this looks fun right so I'm just looking on the open rail map at the minute. I'm just looking at the what's that? What does how do you pronounce that? Potrick car junction, lower L's curve junction, which are just hugely complicated. So this track that I'm looking at goes all over the place, but eventually it goes to Mansfield, Alfreton. Nottingham so it does need to be built so it comes from Kirk Sandall down to this weird junction and now I'm not sure how we are for the time but I think so this comes this branch that we built comes down and then comes down to about here and first things first he says confidently we're going to cross the East Coast main line not sure actually if this let's just double check so it is that's weird everything's weird everything just seems awfully complicated so actually coming out of Doncaster we're, there are five there are five so we're gonna to have to build five tracks so I think we'll have the junction here so uh, there are more than five tracks but there's five kind of mainline tracks I guess you'd say the rest are like freight and stabling and things like that let I am going to try and recreate this as closely as 
possible and then that bypass line goes over so somewhere about here it's probably it is actually well I'll just extend this truck no I won't will I what will I do right so I'll put a bridge in not that like that without pillars so then at least I can come back to it and put track underneath if I need to but they do they start to diverge off and go all over the place so then that's into there there isn't there is a little loop but it looks like it's almost for for freight so we don't need that so this can just go straight down to uh, somewhere approaching ground level on a via on a embankment right so and then this there are two tracks split off and do a little do a little weird thing so get rid of those that track and then this curves out actually I should uh, I should move my microphone I didn't the arrangement I had was with the microphone being as far away from the computer as possible because it's it was quite noisy with the fans going and everything like that but I have I have actually replaced one of the fans so it does run a little bit quieter now so I, I could potentially move the microphone a bit closer to the computer which means I won't be looking away from the screen when I'm looking at the open rail map um, so this needs to come down I think I will just keep it on this bridge for now it is a little bit a bit of a roller coaster that I would say but there is a something comes off here to join up with that you see like that which is all going to make this very interesting getting all of these connected up together and making them actually work right so we've got those in there these do actually head out underneath I just want to reconnect that back up so this is the like the the main East Coast main line now heading down towards Retford like so and that's 116 that should that'd be all right and then this by looks of it this does something weird as well where do you go you go to um, somewhere Gainsborough okie dokie right so we're heading heading towards bring the map back up heading towards Gainsborough now this this goes under and over yeah that's that's a challenge right so we're gonna have to lower this track I think in order to get it to do what it's saying it needs to do on the map so put that get that down I don't know I don't know why it's saying we're doing like 70 miles per hour or something push that back get this track to come down a little bit like that we'll push all three down and then this wants to go over Please let me do it. Right, so maybe have to just push it out a little bit further. And maybe if we do it in one, that's better. Something like that. And again, I think we'll just go with a concrete. I think, no, the, we'll go with the pillarless bridge. What I can always do is I can always come back in with the, the wall, retaining wall asset and make put some fake fake pillars in just to make it look a little bit better so that goes on to there and then this joins up now that's horrible I'll, I'll put a I'll put a uh, switch in like that first and then swing that into there it is quite a tight curve that actually and then that goes into there good right so we are getting there slowly that there is still a lot to do with this just this one junction it's mad it just seems massively overcomplicated and then back to the map just looking away briefly that so there is a switch in there to go okay so we've it's really confusing me can you tell right push some of this more back a bit further I think that's the last bridge so we can bring the East Coast Main Line back up still three tracks I think and then coming off this bypass so this loop bypass and then there's another junction coming off so I will just put another junction like that they're they all actually now if we put it like that just zoom right in get it in 
and then this joins back up to the East Coast Main Line like that and then does that go into yeah that goes into goes into a fourth track then so it becomes four tracks again I know um, we haven't got any electrification in place at the minute but I will just I will electrify the lines which are electrified and then just leave obviously the other one so it, it, it's easier not to have them electrified I think and then just link that back up 186 I can live with that that's fine but we're not uh, not done yet there are still lots of weird stuff going on well I think it's weird anyway it all just looks very very complicated I'm sure there's a good logical explanation for all of these junctions and things but just looking at it from my perspective of not really knowing the area it does look really really complicated so where's Rotherham so we want to be does this uh, this doesn't go to Rotherham does it this goes towards Nottingham it's good uh, good thing I double checked so we're heading in the Mansfield direction with this particular section of track so we'll do that I'm looking at this uh, this line that I'm looking at is weird it's really curvaceous and I I always thought the east of England was actually quite smooth and flat right so let's get the last couple of elements of this in so that's three tracks and that merges into that so what am I what am I looking at so looking at this yeah I could have done with having this on more of a 45 degree angle to the to it but I think we'll just have to work within because we've got something that comes off here like that I think it's gonna to have to be quite slow down to East Coast Main Line can I just chuck no I can't right bring it back and then a junction something like that 90 is not too bad and what's that? No, no don't pop proper tile, that wouldn't be good. Smooth all this off a little bit. I'll have to come in and do a lot of work. Oh no, we've got some water. Damn. Really didn't think we were below sea level or below the water level. Can I just put that in there? Collision with the collision with water. Damn, right, so raise that up. I suppose the change in texture was a giveaway <laughs> that we were starting to go into water so I'm gonna to have to be really careful with the smoothing in that in that area but we got those four tracks anyway those weird junction things that goes to there I think I've done it I will oh, I just need, got to connect this back up like no, not, not like that that's that's horrible why have I, why have I agreed to that that just looks rubbish right so if we bring this out a bit and then from here we'll have a junction and then something like that I know 60 is not hugely quick but that looks ridiculous I will sort that out but I just wanted to get the bridge in place I think I think we've done it obviously we've still got Doncaster to build which I think I will roll over to the next episode because that could be quite interesting but I just want to so this is that little curvy thing going on and there is so that curves that curves off to there so just before that there's a switch and then just before that again there's another switch like that um, yeah and then that this bypass links up to that little thing there so that goes around Doncaster and then this wants to link up to to Retford. Now, can I bring these tracks? Oh, we haven't got Rep Doncaster Station actually. Have we? <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have to leave it. I think we're gonna have to leave it there. Not, we're gonna have to press the right button. Do a little bit of smoothing. But I think I would just like to get the East Coast Main Line set up. But yeah, we need to build, rebuild Doncaster. But we did get plenty of done. Get we did get plenty done in this episode and it is all quite complicated what's going on so I'm quite pleased with myself hopefully I've got it right I'm using the open rail map as my source so it should I know the scales off but it should be fairly accurate so I'm gonna leave it there for today anyway so until next time bye bye